E3, Microsoft finally unveiled Xbox Scorpio, which is the Xbox One X, releasing November 7th for $500. It is their 4K native 4K 6 teraflops. I'm sorry, I was mimicking. The same no, day. It was, it was a teraflop. Crack, <laughs> Crackdown 3 will be a launch game. They also showed Forza 7, Assassin's Creed, Shadow of War, that they showed will take advantage of the 4K. But we're going to discuss who the fuck is the Xbox One for? Not me. So we, we can. It's not for me. Organize this as there's a very small percentage of the market that has a 4K TV. So that already lowers the market. Because they tried to sell as in, oh, you get better capabilities, it'll look better on a 1080p. Best on. But that is not worth a $500 price tag when I can go into a retailer and buy it for $250, an Xbox One S. I can get it for $250, which comes with a 4K Blu-ray player. Yep. So I don't really need... And then that 4K Blu-ray will upscale as well. Blu-ray. So upscale on a 1080p. So small market already. How about for the PS4 players? Like, all right, they have a PS4 Pro already. Even though it's not native 4K, but still looks damn good. On 4K TVs with Horizon already looks great in 1080p. Yeah. And I just can't imagine how great that even looks. So they're not getting the Sony players because the exclusives that they showed are not enough for any Sony players like oh I need an Xbox One X Assassin's Creed is multi-platform so that's not going to get anyone Shadow of War is multi-platform and more than likely those would be upscaled on the PS4 Pro so they're still going to look great so not getting the Sony and they just didn't show a need for Xbox One players to really jump in and how big of a difference it really makes. And it's really hard that we discuss this 4K is hard to show in a press conference. And that's why I really recommended um, one of my um, so when we did a strategy episode about two or three weeks ago as in if we're at Microsoft and I said partner up with Best Buy have these Xbox One X consoles and play the demos for Shadow of War, Assassin's Creed Forza to show them what, and they still might do it before launch because um, I know they did it for the um, for the uh, PSVR mm. that they had those for you to play, but to see the how big of a difference, if any, is 4K compared to 1080p. So, who the fuck is gonna buy the Xbox One X? Who's it for? How are they gonna market? Now, once again, they're releasing the Xbox One X on in November, correct? November seventh. So are they planning? Are they thinking that people are going to go into Black Friday sales, get a 4K television, and this is how they're going to get their sales? Because it's releasing around November. Is that? I mean, it was I don't understand what the strategy was. Was there any involved? Like, what? what why November seventh of all days? So you can plan accordingly. Crackdown three. This one will be ready. They want to own the story because they that'll give them <laughs> two or three weeks to get press out of, oh, look at how many people are thrilled with their purchase, that then Black Friday you'll start convincing people that, yeah, buy I do need the TV game. and I need the I need the X. Well, it, go ahead. No, I'll be the first one. So I'm getting the Xbox One X because I have a 4K TV. Right. If I did not have a 4K TV, I would tell Microsoft to go fuck themselves. Go fuck yourselves. No. Uh, I don't like not everybody's in the market for a 4K television when they just upgraded to what they originally already had as a TV which was, you know, 60 inches plus whatever you know, whatever TV that they had before the 4K started coming out and rolling <laughs> out and stuff. Why would they want to upgrade already? Like it's not everybody's going to upgrade every 2 years, unfortunately. Now you got you got even like reports coming from Sony that they're already working on 8K. Okay. That's that's ridiculous. Well, they like, do have 8K TVs. They're like yeah, fifty thousand. Yeah, they're expensive as shit. That's, but but Sony's pushing towards that market because they have a, a, t- a television market. Yeah, they're now, 8K TVs. This is this is the one thing I did agree with you. Like they should have put an Xbox. Like they should have uh, marketed outside to where people can actually go see what the fuck the difference is and see if that sells. No, that's uh, what the show floor was for. I, I understand that, but Sony did it. <laughs> but Sony did it. Best Buy has has. 
Uh, they had a 4K. Uh, I mean, the PlayStation Pro. Yeah, but the Pro's not really selling either, though. No, I mean, this is a throwaway skew. Yeah. This is just it's, research and development money for the next right, console. Right. Full it up to here's how we can recoup some of that. Still, it looked beautiful, regardless of what we say. It still looks beautiful, whether it sells or not. I mean, it's it, is it worth our time to buy it? I don't think so. Um, I'd rather I'd rather spend my money on getting an external hard drive, which is what I did. No, but the sad part is was. <laughs> You were open. You have you owned an Xbox console before? I have not. And he's been. You've been on record several times yeah. stating after E3 he was looking I want for it. 4K. I wanted to see. I wanted to see. So I, you know, for the people who were gonna purchase into it, like for and instance, you're Sony. We thought that you know this would have sold. Like it, it was a yeah. brand new idea. We knew that still that, that you and Rich were in the market. They're like, oh, okay, we, we're looking into this. We want. We're kind of excited for this. If you guys were gonna get it. And you know, it's sell us as a whole. Then I would have definitely gotten one just so I can be on. Well, like how Horizon kind of sold me on buying a PlayStation. If we had had something besides that crappy Crackdown demo, or Sea of Thieves, or something that wasn't multi-platform yeah. to offer you, I can see how you would go. Yeah, yeah. this is worth the investment. Yeah. Right now, it's basically a hey, Halo. You can play Halo. You're like, yeah, great. I don't care. No. Yeah. If it didn't get you before, it's not going to get you now. In yeah. fact, it's yeah. a, it's a two year old game now. There's been five Halos, and you haven't bought an Xbox for a Halo game. No, nope, yeah. but I played them here at your place. Yeah. And That's Gears. True. And yeah. Gears, I played I played them all here. Like yeah. mm-hmm. there was just no reason for me to buy one. I felt like if I wanted to experience something, and if I was actually going to get sold, I would have played it here at your house. Those are the best games to you convince know, you. Or or Rich's house. You know, yeah. It doesn't matter, but. I, how many times have we played Xbox? Did I ever bitch about playing Xbox? Yeah. No, we just played and we had fun. We had some good times at the apartment. Yeah, we did. Drunk as shit. <laughs> <laughs> playing some Xbox. But, you good know, way to end I, rotation night. I don't own one, but you know, we, we still had fun regardless. And I was looking for um, Xbox One X to be... Because uh, you're looking for 4K. Good, I was you, you yeah, 4K looking for 4K. TV, I was looking for 4K. Yeah. So you, yeah. Had, a, you had a potential new customer for Microsoft to bring in someone new. I Yeah. I was all sold for it. I was like, okay, I'm going to get this. And then I saw that lineup and I deterred away from it. I just said, fuck it. I'd rather play great games than no games. Yeah. And Rich, what do you think Microsoft, who they should market to, what their strategy should be now moving forward? Um, parachutes. I think they all need parachutes because they either need a golden parachute because they should all be fired, or they're going right over that cliff, so it's gonna you know slow their descent if they have a parachute. But as far as like saving us, they they that was them tapping out for this generation. It there just, was nothing. They're done. Uh, just, they'll still have some great ooh, stuff, but that was there's nothing. There's nothing that sets them apart. They that was them waving the white flag. It just really fucking bugged me the way they that, took the L. Yeah, the way that it just fucking started to annoy me when I was watching that press conference. This is for that hardcore gamer. What? (laughs) Which hardcore gamer? I don't... You know the one that's only going to buy the cross-platform stuff on Microsoft even though they already own a PlayStation. I'm like, yeah, right. Yeah, but hardcore gamer. And we'll get into more specifics about this later on in our next topic about Destiny 2, but let's just talk about overall in general with the publishers. So Microsoft did say that the publishers can use the power however they want with no requirements for Microsoft. So however they want. So let's be on the publisher's side, is how much should they even invest? Because PS4 Pro and some, they can do somewhat 4K, but Xbox One X most powerful console, but, and Rich has been saying this since day one, as in, so what is the most powerful console if publishers don't use the full power? Exactly. So that puts the publishers as in how much should we invest in this game to make it for the Xbox One X and make it the best version when there's a very small install base already. Well, you can't put too much into it because even when you have those comparisons, let's say they run it like the frame issue and they run them side by side and it looks so much cleaner on Xbox X as opposed to PlayStation Pro, they will be competing with themselves for what's the better looking game and that puts them in the bad column because if you're the if you are in the market for that game but you only can afford the PlayStation you don't want to buy the new hardware and now I've shown you how much better or how much actually in their minds how much worse it looks on your console you might skip that one and be like oh I'll pick it up when I have money to get the Xbox X now it goes to the bottom of the buy buy list 
and you buy all those other exclusives because PlayStation's got tons of those, right? And then you're waiting for your next big sale or, oh, when it comes to the summer, it'll be marked down to 20 bucks and I'll get it then and I can, you know, maybe the, the X will be knocked off 50 or 100 bucks and I'll pick it up then and, well, guess what happens in six months? Your, your mind changes, you, you don't pay attention to stuff, life happens and maybe you don't have disposable income anymore and all of a sudden, it's not a priority by any game, certainly not that one that's six months old and you had to buy brand new hardware to play it the way that you think you need to play it. They don't want to be there. They want it to be as similar an experience on all the consoles when you're multi-platform so that they can reach the biggest customer base. They don't want to shoot themselves in the foot and go, don't buy it on this one. They don't want to be known as that because we've seen that a few times. It tanks the whole property because it's usually the, the, the system that's trying too hard to catch up. Like PlayStation 3 had the more powerful machine, but it didn't have the mind share because of the Wii and the 360. And so they were really putting out stuff, and it looked awesome, but it made it, they seemed desperate, so people were still buying it on Xbox. And there, there was a problem with that, too, that the PlayStation 3, yeah, they had that, that sell whatever uh, uh, running system, and then the developers yeah. were saying... It was hard to develop. We don't, yeah. yeah, how do the fuck do we develop for this thing? I, we know that the potential is there to do all this, but we don't yet quite understand. Like, we're so used to running IPs off of, like, PC hardware... Stuff like that, yeah, that's gonna work now, but it's still, it, it's it's it, you're only reaching to a smaller market at this moment. And if you're not if you're not giving them financial incentive to be exclusive to Microsoft or Sony, if you're letting them continue to be cross platform, why are they going to allocate you know ten percent more resources to build for the other one? Yeah, it's more more powerful, but what do I get out of it? It's gonna sell less than the other existing customer base. Why wouldn't I want the PlayStation experience to be the, the, the better experience? Because they beat them almost two to one. Three to one in some parts of the world. So why would I want to build for, for Microsoft's platform unless I'm only going to be there? Then, of course, I can full gusto, give them everything I got, show them what I, what I can do with their technology. But if it's going to be cross-platform, it would be dumb to take it to the one that's not going to sell as much and put more resources in that, allocate more team members to that for that coding process. It's It, it doesn't make sense financially or development standpoint. On all aspects, it doesn't make a and lot of sense. And that's why I said, that's why they were my surprise. This, none of this, the lack of games, the lack of, of forward thinking, they haven't changed any, any policies or procedures of their existing stuff. The only thing they did is drop 50 bucks off the S. That's the one big announcement, and you saw that hit like a fucking turd. Everybody went, wow, we still weren't going to buy it, so thanks. Yeah. That's all that that did. You still don't have games. It's great that your machine is more affordable now, but if I don't have anything to play on it, why will I buy it? So, so I know uh, Sony took a lot of heat for PS4 Pro not having a 4K Blu-ray player. Like, what the hell, Sony, you have a Blu-ray player? Yeah. But... They did say, as in, everyone is moving towards the digital side. So everything is being streamed online in 4K, or buying it digitally 4K. No one is at using discs. And I'm very old school, I'm very disc-based, but Me too. It's, it's true that we are moving towards a digital age, as in how much is a 4K Blu-ray player going to be used? Like, oh, we have a 4K Blu-ray player, but you have in the Xbox One S... As well, that upgrades it. Xbox One S actually upgrades it too to look better. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, and it, you know that's what I've been doing. I've been buying movies digitally now, especially because it streams in 4K. That's and I'm buying straight off the Sony store too. No, but see, that's that's something that would have been perfect for either company, but especially yeah. Microsoft, who needed the advantage. Like I said, their their whole thing should be pick up that legacy baton that Sony threw away after the PlayStation Two. Remember how the 3 had its problem with the emulator and was causing the house fires and stuff, and they've dropped it ever since. Use it so that I have a Microsoft account. And remember, that goes across your PC, your tablets, if you've got a Windows phone, and of course your Xbox. If I buy a movie from the Windows Store, as long as I still can log into my account, mm -hmm. guess what? Whatever media I have that account uh, attached to... I watch it on my laptop when I'm on a flight. I watch it on a tablet when I'm sitting on the couch and, you know, Mo's over and he's playing a game on my PlayStation 4. And, you know, or I'm, I'm uh, at work on break and I'm, I'm watching something on my phone. Because I own the media. I want to be able to take it wherever I have. I shouldn't have to buy 15 versions of the same movie, game, TV show, song 
because oh I upgraded my phone so guess what now I gotta rebuy all my fucking media library Nintendo we're looking at you yeah <laughs> how many times someone has bought Super Mario Bros 3 yep and it's if you wanna give us little bonuses like if you make it you put in the, the ability to save like the NES Classic has or you upscale some of the graphics and stuff charge me for a patch one or two bucks and then you you recoup some of your development costs, implementation costs, but it, it's feasible to me as opposed to I had to go out and spend another 20, 30 bucks yeah. to get a game that I already bought and I've probably already bought five fucking times now. That's my big complaint like with the NES Classic. Why do I need to do that? Let me, if I bought it from you, I'm the rights holder now. Let's, and if, if, it's, if it's all legal bullshit, then put that in your contracts going forward so that from this next generation, it never becomes a problem again. I don't want to have to lose out because, well, guess what? Acclaim doesn't own the Ninja Turtles anymore, so you bought that game, but you can't download it on the store. Well, then why did I buy the fucking game? I bought it because you sold it, but I didn't have time to play it. But then my Xbox had the red ring of death. Now I, I got the new one I want to re-download. It's not in the store anymore. A claim lost their license. So you can, then where's my money? Give me a refund then. Wow. That only makes sense to me. If I had a disc, that would that would kind of make sense. Someone's a little traumatized from that experience. Well, if I give you money, I should be able to have something to show for it. <laughs> They don't like it when I play their game. If I had their game for six years and went, this sucks, give me my money back, they'd say, are you fucking ridiculous? Well, if I paid full price for the game and then decided I wanted to play it six years later, I shouldn't have them going, are you out of your mind? That's, that's the normal way of doing things. So I read an article about the Xbox One X that they're really not losing any money or really gaining any money with the $500 price point. So should Xbox One X, should they have taken the hit and went with the 400. Would that have mattered, or it was just a clusterfuck in the games? Doesn't even matter what price. If you're in the market for a 4K TV, I don't think that hundred dollars would have swayed you the other way. No. But I also think that if you didn't care about the 400 dollars, you probably already have an S or the original Xbox One. So I don't think that this is a motivator in any way for anybody, other than I've got a 4K and I'm looking to upgrade. That was it. And again, if you weren't going to be subsidized by the trading credit at GameStop. Yeah. You wouldn't do it, right? Yeah. No, I checked. I went to GameStop website, see how much I'll get for my Xbox One. Mm -hmm. And I saw that my Xbox One is $100, but they do have like specials. Get like $50 extra uh, more credit or $25 more credit. Um, but Richard's absolutely right. I would not pay the full $500 for the Xbox One X. I don't think it's worth it for just an upgrade to a 4K. Mm -hmm. um, but 400 is still borderline, but I want 4K gaming. On a console, I don't play PC. It was either the PS5 because PS4 Pro is upscaled 4K. I want native 4K because I'm a douchebag like that, I guess. And so that's why I'm going with the Xbox One X. Just turn in my Xbox One, which is the first time I'm ever have ever exchanged a console. I'm a collector. I have every single console that I purchased. And I still have it here. This will be the first console I will ever trade in. But it's the same. Family, Xbox One family. So I guess yeah. I'm not missing out. And you get yeah. a new controller. So you don't have yeah, to play and you get a new yeah. controller. Yeah. Lazy. That's the height of yeah. laziness. Yeah. <laughs> or how much he doesn't want to play Mass Effect. Yeah. How much? Either way, I win this argument. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. Xbox One controller with my right button is broken. We'll see if GameStop will find that, or if they watch this video. <laughs> no one's gonna watch this video. <laughs> <laughs> find out. Um, but we'll see. We have the next few months to see what Microsoft, how they market this. They. Have a huge hill to climb. No. Did not start off well. This generation has not been well. No. No, it hasn't. No. They, they just need a do-over. And that's why I said this should be a start of a new generation. Hope- well, good thing they didn't because they would have lost the next generation as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, Microsoft, the ball's in your court. We'll see in the next few months how you market it, who's going to purchase it, how the sales actually going to be for this console. The ball's not in their court. It's not even in their fucking state. I Let's be honest. <laughs> Jesus. Please let us in the comments below what your feelings are for the Xbox One X and who the fuck do you think is going to purchase this console? 